Good morning, friends. Stephen Burnett with Israeli News Live. And the image that you're seeing right now on your screen, the very one I use as the cover, it is like volumes when you look at this. You know, that'd be like, you know, two world leaders going head to head, and yet they both are arm in arm with the Pope of Rome. And we know that the Vatican is so political in behind the scenes on a number of nations around the world. Uh, and yet here we have the Chabad organization. You got Schneerson right there in the middle. You got Zelensky to the right, Putin to the left. Their per, uh, perspective, Chabad leaders of their own nations. And, and, and these, this Chabad is driving force of what happens in the Middle East. So as we look at this, and then we see the news that is coming out this morning, Al Jazeera, which by the way, Putin, excuse me, I'm sorry, Netanyahu has vowed to shut down in Israel because they don't want you know what's happening in, in Israel there. But uh, they're reporting that Ukraine has struck over a thousand kilometers deep into Russia with a suicide drone. The people truly are the victim. As I showed you just the other day with this broadcast sharing with you, uh, Edward, uh, Eduardo Hudo, the former Chabad rabbi that actually came out and exposed Schneerson's plan to divide Russia and the Ukrainian people, the Slovak, Slovak uh, they're not Slovaks, but Slavic people against one another because he said they are deemed for extermination. Look at what happened though this morning. Facilities and then you'll realize Shahed it's all a plot. And an oil refinery. If the drones were launched from Ukrainian territory, it would be one of the most far-reaching attacks carried out by Ukraine's forces since the start of the war. Charles Stratford has more from Kyiv. Ukrainian intelligence services have told us that Ukraine did indeed carry out this attack, which seems to be some sort of drone attack on this kamikaze drone facility deep inside Russia, around 1,300 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. The Ukrainians are also claiming responsibility for an attack on an oil facility in a similar region, one of Russia's largest oil facilities. Now, this is consistent with what we've seen now, in, in recent weeks. As Ukraine I, I want to just pause this for a moment, and, and I want to just, let's back this up for a moment, and let's, oops, sorry, it's, uh, I forget you can't back up very far uh, when you're dealing with uh, the situation here on, because their feed is very, very long. Uh, oh, goodness, here we go. Oh, goodness, maybe. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get it. Well, there we go. There it is right there. I if wanna, the drones <clears throat> were long. There we go. That's what I, oh, I still messed up. Uh, let me see. Uh, the explosion. <clears throat> what I'm trying to get you to see again is the size of the, of the plane in the drone attack. And the reason being is because the, the point that I want to make out here is that uh, what you're looking at when you're looking at the size of this plane that was carried out in this drone attack on Russia, it's the size, of, or it's a drone, but it is the size of a regular plane. Any nation that has a plane flying unauthorized inside of its country is going to challenge that plane. They're going to shoot that plane down. Well, in the case here of what we're seeing uh, on the news, they're not shooting this plane down. And there again, so my whole argument I go back to is that it's an agenda, just like Edward Hudo has spoke about. Uh, so, you know, listen, you you make up your own mind, and uh, and, and I'll I'll just remind you. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.